So just a short video here about OEM granny cables, the portable charger. So in this case the Nissan um, charger, I had one where the fuse holder was missing and uh, I thought I'd be clever and I thought I'd change the plug rather than trying to source a fuse holder. Um, the fuse was in there but the cover was missing. So these have got a moulded plug and uh, rather than just cutting the cable off there I thought I would try to um, preserve as much of the cable as I could and try to get into the plug. So I set about shaving the plastic off with a knife until I got to the other end of the metal prongs uh, to reserve as much of this cable because the original um, 13 amp flex here is very short. Um, however, I then discovered when I got in there that you've got an extra two wires. So you've got your normal um, earth live and neutral there. You've got some string there which allows the cores to move, which keeps the cable very flexible. But you've got these extra two cores and those were actually a little temperature sensor. Uh, I think on the live wire. Um, which was very interesting, so it means this plug is thermally managed or, or censored and obviously then if your wiring gets too warm, which um, you may well know is a bit of a common problem with granny cables if your wiring is not quite up to it because these are drawing 10 amp for many many hours, possibly 7 to 9 hours on a bigger battery car, um, then if this temperature sensor senses that your live pin is getting too hot it's obviously going to shut down which is great i didn't realize they had that um, whether all granny cables have it or just some oem ones i don't know because i'm not going to start taking cables apart to find that out but it's a word of warning don't try to change the plug because uh, um, firstly it was all molded and it got destroyed i couldn't preserve that um, sensor uh, and of course you wouldn't be able to fit that in a standard plug anyway, we're well, not particularly easy. Um, so I've gone and uh, bricked a granny cable here now. Uh, well of course I could pull a plug on it but it wouldn't have a sensor so maybe for my own use but I can't let that go with a vehicle now. So I hope that helps, it's quite a, I found it quite interesting that these three pin plugs are temperature monitored um, and it restores my faith in granny cables a little bit so clearly if you're using an OEM um, granny cable you're going to have a less of a less of a problem with it overheating well of course it's still going to overheat if it needs to if it's going to overheat but at least the thing will shut down so I hope you found that interesting bye